Hi. So uh, we are extremely hot. Oh <laughs> God, it's so hot. Hopefully, like I said, this warms you up. This may be kind of quick. We don't know. But we actually made um, oxtails. These are actually, you want to just tilt yours because mine has so much juice on it. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful. Mine has a lot of juice too. It yeah. is Dominican style oxtail. Yes. Yeah. So um, I think, we, yeah, the other video we told, talked to you about the, uh, getting the oxtails. Um, this is not what six pounds looks like because I did half for the J Jamaican oxtails later and then half is the Dominican oxtails. These did take a few hours. They do take a long time. Um, mine takes two days to make because I marinate it overnight. And my sister already tasted a little bit of it, and I did too. Um, and she's like, yeah, it does taste like a Dominican Perfect. restaurant. I'm so proud uh, of her. She did this from scratch. She got to meet herself. Mm -hmm. She did this herself. Marinated everything. That is my sister. Yes. And then, of course, I made the white rice just in the rice cooker. All it's right. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Of course, I went for the rice first, because why not? Mm. Oh, my God. This one's so tender. It's already off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's perfect just like it. The thing that makes me happy is that back home, since the Dominican style oxtails are so popular, they run out really quick. So if oh, you don't get goodness. to it quick. Yeah, it's over. It's like you've got And they don't always have every day of the week. They don't I thought they made it like in the morning because it takes so long to make. In place I usually get it from so like select days. Usually put out for lunchtime. Sometimes it's until dinner if they have any. If not, no. And you gotta wait a few more days. Oh, that's awful. That is awful. It makes me feel fat. The broth tastes like it too. Oh my god. Yeah, this does. This does taste like home. And I do it's like. So much. Mm, I do like dishes that taste like home. Mm. I think my favorite. I think I added too much juice, which you think wouldn't be a bad thing, but I think I added too much juice. <laughs> I thought I didn't wanna add too, too much. Like, I, didn't I think we added almost the same rice. amount, but Video. there was a lot in my for the meat, so. Like, I don't... What I usually love to do, too, is, like, put the juice with the rice. Oh! Guess what we forgot. What? We're oh. drinking iced tea today! Cheers <coughs> <coughs> again. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, Link. I realized, I looked to the side, I was like, we were so hungry, and we're also so hot. I was so like, hungry. Have not really eaten all day. Oh, yeah. tell them about our day. We actually left the house, what is it, a little after... Like, before one. Mm hmm we left right about one. Um, I was looking stuff up on, okay, so what's the thing I could do in Chicago before I leave? And we came across this thing called the Awesome Graffiti Wall. Mm -hmm. It's um, like Chicago blocks, which are long, stretches of a collection of graffiti and murals. Mm -hmm. People can walk by, take photos. There's also a tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. So I asked Chica, and she's like, yeah, we can go. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. it's and it wasn't really super far, thankfully. And like everything else, it only took one bus. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that bus only shows up every 20 to 30 minutes. Thankfully, caught the bus in time to get there and time to come back. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't too, too hot, but it was too hot to walk for that long stretch because we didn't know how far it went because mm -hmm. it goes to two sides. We, as soon as you get off the bus, you look down the block and you see it already. Yeah. So we're like, oh, that's great. So we went, we walked, we saw there was some stretching to the right side, but some stretching to the left. We said, okay, we'll walk to the left, to the left, to the left. And then we saw mm -hmm. where there came a stop sign. Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's done. You look past, there's another stretch of murals with another stop sign. You look past, there's another stretch of murals. We look at each other like, it's too hot for this. So we stayed between those limits. Yeah, but we actually hot. went pretty far. Like We, we didn't go far, though. Like three Chicago bus stops. And we just walked along. So there were murals on both sides of the street, <laughs> but mostly on one side. Yeah. Because on the other side, it had a collection of like Super Mario. Yeah. But it was mostly houses on that side. And then in between, there's also a bridge. So inside of the bridge, there's actually another mural. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. on with Bender, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bender mural. It was so nice because it was um different murals paying tribute to. Nobody's gonna get that. Paying tribute to um, Chicago itself, as well as people and ethnicities. Mm -hmm. Also, Pop just culture. Art. It was really nice. Yeah. Thank you again for taking me. But I've had a great time. I had never heard of it. Um, this, like, if we're friends on Facebook, you know, over the summer, I, I had a lot to do. I was very stressed. Um, but. 
I've been picking these little moments out for myself that I won't be able to do during the year to really um take time for myself and relax and enjoy myself. So I'm doing a lot of super free stuff like Navy Pier. Mm-hmm. Then there's twice. Navy Pier is nice. Mm-hmm. Went once. Want to go back. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was nice. Um, I've also been giving a lot of talks. For those of you who don't know, I do a lot of work around disability and food sovereignty and like people's food choices and having the best food choices and Being making able to stores make your own choices. Mm-hmm. Making places more accessible, especially food places, um, like supermarkets, things like that. Because people don't know, like supermarkets are very inaccessible. So are corner stores. So people with different types of disabilities, so it's a lot. So I do a lot of talks. Building a lot of coalitions. And even though I'm new to Chicago, I've met some really amazing like people who do a lot of grass work grassroots work. I really love that. I finished my entire thing guys. That's what I'm so like. I feel like I should have picked up more meat because I feel also I didn't have a lot of rice mm-hmm. and my stomach's pretty small. So here's the weird thing about when I eat. The thing is I eat in smaller portions mm-hmm. because I chew with my front teeth also and I have a smaller stomach. But that also means I get hungry quicker. Mm. So instead of, let's say the average person gets hungry about four or five hours later, about two and a half, three hours later, I'll be hungry again. Mm-hmm. Maybe even less than that. Like when we went out to go eat one time, she was like, I'm full. And by the time we had already got back home, and I was like, you know, I'm a little bit hungry again. Just and it wasn't. Hungry. And it was wild. I was not. I was like, oh, no. I am I was full. I forgot. It was, I think it was when we went to Carrie Carrie's Tavern. But yeah, it was Harry Carey's Tavern. She didn't eat as much as I did, of course. Like, I pretty much ate. We had two apps. I ate half of one and most of the other. Y'all, it was this uh, tahini. It was like, not hummus tahini. It was this hummus. Oh, my God. Hummus. It had these different vegetables on it. She loved that. The cucumber especially. I love cucumber. Mm-hmm. But you'll, you'll see that in another video, how much I love cucumbers. But, um... I, yeah, I just absolutely loved it. And then, yeah, I think I ate, I don't think I ate all of my burger, but, like, I ate the sides, and the sides were pretty hefty. Oh, no, yeah, and then I left, like, one side. Or, yeah, I ate most of my food. Yeah, so I had, um, I had eaten the um, other half of the app, which was, oh, my God, it was so good. It was a, wasn't it the sweet and tangy wings? Mm, yeah. It was the sweet and tangy buffalo wings, and for dipping, got ranch. It was so, so, so good. And the free refills for soda. So that was good, but it was a lot of sauce. So, it was a lot of sauce, but since there was a good amount of uh, ranch, it was able to balance it out. Mm-hmm. So that didn't really bother me. I was like, yes. And then I ate about three fourths of my fries. It took like a few bites of the burger. I think I ate the rest of your fries too. You did. That's why I said three fourths. Yeah. Those were things. Those fries were good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I then had um, Sunday with two scoops of ice cream. Mm-hmm. I and had I got, one. I just couldn't. I got like, I only lost that. But then later on, like, as soon as we got back home, after we had been out for like two hours or so, I already picked back up the burger. Most of it on the bus. That was. That bus ride was ridiculous. But yes. Yeah. So in Chicago, they don't have dedicated bus lanes, except in certain parts of the city. So, um, buses just move really slow. That's right. As soon as I got home, she was like, You're hungry? I had already picked up my burger to eat. I was like, I'm eating this right now. Like, right now. Yeah. That's okay. But for some reason, it was some of my favorite foods. Like, oxtails, one of my favorite foods. Especially with rice. Because mm-hmm. rice is good. Amazing. I could eat this over and over again. I used to eat it over and over when I had the chance to, if they were available. Mm-hmm. But now... I can just give the recipe to our mother. Oh. If she wants to, she can make. Okay, I had to season because it was so much. Like the pan couldn't. Uh, the pan, the con- the container I was putting it in, it was fine when I was putting it all together. 
but I couldn't mix it. There wasn't room to mix, so I had to put it in two separate bowls to make car um, to season it. I noticed this video was a lot of eating because we are hungry and this is good. Mm hmm. It's like after 10, and the only thing I had was a if you ever go to Costco, they have microwavable bulgogi bowls. <clears throat> And I had um, one of those. Mom <laughs> had at twelve. <clears throat> Throughout the day, I had four um, Domino's uh, brownie cookies. Yeah, we talked about Domino's um, in another video. Yeah, and I think that it was the last was, one actually. It was, and yeah. that's that's all I ate. And iced tea, but that's really it. Mm. We've been drinking this iced tea down. We have been killing this iced tea. She made a gallon of it earlier. It's almost done. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get it on before bed. Yeah, it's icy. And if you're wondering, oh, you're drinking a lot, it's so sweet. We also drink a lot of water, too. We do. So. <clears throat> and I especially drink more. I don't know. It's like I drink more water when I'm out here. Since Chica doesn't really drink soda. Mm -mm. Like, when you saw me, like, I will drink soda for videos or when I'm out. Like, I don't go out often. Y'all know. I'm a grad student. I don't make a lot of money and I don't have a lot of time, so. Mm -hmm. The only time you'll ever really see me with soda is on camera. And then when we go out places, like we went to um, Harry Carey's Tavern. At the tavern, we I got a uh, soda. Mm -hmm. And one refill. And that was it. Um, <coughs> I drink more water now because I drink water usually on my way to school. So um, I buy a water bottle in the morning. To take it with me, and I either drink it on the train, or if not, I drink it throughout the day while I'm at school. Sometimes I buy two. Sometimes I also buy water on the way home. Also, because I like filtered water. Mm -hmm. Like, New York tap water is good. Amazing. It's good. Some of the best tap water you're going to get. Ever. Just know that. Anywhere in the universe. <laughs> but, I also like filtered water. There's nothing wrong with that. Jesus was baptized in that water. New York City water, not the filtered water. Anyway. Um... So, I like to drink a lot of water at home, too, for that. My parents are like, wow, you're drinking a lot more water now. Because it's good. And I'd like a healthy liver and kidneys. Very true. When our mother came out here, she was so upset with me. Because there was not. <laughs> there was no water. There was no soda. There was no juice. I was like, I've got tea. I can make you some hot tea. She was just like, I'm going to kill you. But this is the thing that bothered me. So I had gone, so I don't love a lot of soda, but I do love, there's a few I like, like Izzy. So Costco had a sale on Izzy, but it was these little like eight ounce cans. My mom drank so many of those. I was so upset. So y'all saw me drink one or two in my videos of the different varieties. She was drinking, I think she drank almost half that pack in one day of being here. One day? She was just drinking and drinking. She was even Mom drank them. a pack, a half a pack in one day. She wasn't even sipping them. She was just gulping them down. Yeah, mom doesn't sip And if you that. gulp, if you gulp those down, that's gone in two, three gulps. So, yeah, we were very upset. Oh, uh, we wound up playing Hangman again. The other ah! night when we got off the mud bun. This may be our time. Because that's early. Fun. I was like, do you ever play? It's like, oh, we could save it for later. I'm like, yeah, it's so sad late night. Mm -hmm. We also got some of the same options. So we got Chile again. But we finally got it this we time. We did get it this time. It was a redemption, but I'm still mad. I forgot on the mukbangs, you're not supposed to use these kinds of like forks with the pork. Oh, sweet summer child, whatever. Hey, it makes a weird noise, but y'all will forgive me. I'm literally eating and living how I normally eat and live. Mm -hmm. Wow, I only have, um,. Four oxalabot. I have I this like one in my three. mouth. Yeah. One more. more. Alright, I actually had a three. I like the little scraps. I hadn't eaten off of this one. This is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. How would you rate this meal? Mm, 10 10 would recommend. Wrong. I would definitely make this again too. 13 10 recommend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of the regular 12, 13. 0.75.
Wait, point seventy five you'd recommend or thirteen point seventy five. Oh, I would like Huh? If it was seventy five, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have eaten it. Not at all. I love food that brings me joy. And that's, I think, all I'm going to say. Um, I like to cook food that brings me joy. I can cook food that brings me joy. And that's it. Um, I think that I was watching Nigella once, and she was like, I don't want joyless food. Me either. And I know that, you know, what some people eat is out of their control, but <laughs> sometimes what I eat is out of my control. I, I can't always, I don't, I can't always make the effort. I'm going to do tired. Um, sometimes I feel uncreative, like I'm very uninspired by anything. But, um, I think the great thing, huh? I will still, well, there are times when I do this, right? And I can make these great meals and I don't know, share them with people. And do a great job. Mm -hmm. Again, still proud of you. Mm hmm But do you want to talk about our plans coming up? Mm. Yeah, so there. A channel. I love looking at other channels, other YouTubers, and supporting them in any way I can. So I actually buy YouTubers cookbooks. And some are super professional, like Mangchi. Um, she's a Korean mukbanger. I'm not mukbanger, sorry. She's a Korean YouTube uh, recipe creator. Love her. Got her book. But there's other ones too. So there's a woman, um, oh, Sweets and Beyond. I have her cookbook. There is um, Chris Cooks for You Too. I have her cookbook. There's Carly Spices. I've made on my main channel, excuse me, which is my name, I've made her cornbread. Amazing. I've made it multiple times. People love it. And so do I. I oh bought her cookbook. Actually, I bought Chris's Chris Cooks for You Too. I bought both her cookbooks. She just came out with a second one. <laughs> And the other one, Bear Pantry Show, she also came up with two cookbooks. I bought both of them. And we're making, um, it's a, I think it's called a yeast cake. Mm -hmm. a Creole right. yeast cake. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Oh my God. She's a Belizean mukbanger. I mean, she does mukbangs now for some reason. I haven't seen them. I just haven't gotten really a chance to. By the filming of this, by the time you watch this, I will. But, um, we're going to do that. I'm sorry. And you might even see it. Um, yeah. You're never going to believe this. Oh my goodness, we didn't say who this was dedicated to. Sorry. I feel awful. Let's just say. Eating it up with Denise. Who recently changed the name of her channel to living it up with Denise. She's had some health <laughs> issues and now she can't do uh, mukbang. So I was thinking about this and I was thinking about her. And I was like, oh, oh, what is for you? Living it up with Denise, so. Just cheer one more time. Yeah. You, you girl. Yeah, so she, um, so yeah, so now we're going to see more of her life, and I'm excited to see that. But yeah, so she did one, and I really like her channel. She's a smaller YouTuber like me. Not all the people I highlight are going to be huge YouTubers. I don't just want to pay homage to them. I think they're amazing, but I love me some channels. small channels they give me amazing inspiration and i think that um i've one of the first people who actually liked a request like you know sent me a sub was actually i think one of the first five people was actually a, a small youtube channel it's bigger than mine of course but no no and she was a woman from new york oh my God, with yeah. that was her name and um uh, actually the news I got some, I really like her aura, her vibe. I feel like she's very honest, even when that honesty doesn't, I think she's honest in a very kind way. And I saw this quote that I thought was amazing. And it said, people always want to share their brutal honesty, but that's really mean and that's wrong. What about your compassionate honesty? What about your poetic honesty? What about, um, you know that and I think that she 
shares her honesty in a compassionate way in a very compassionate way and i feel like she stands her ground and she's like you know what these are my opinions and i'm going to stick with them and i'm going to stick by them and i really like that because i feel the same way i feel like i have certain opinions if you follow my main channel you'll know um that i have very strong opinions and a lot of people <coughs> don't like that but you know and, and there are times when i am brutally honest right when it calls for it. but i think being, you know, compassionately honest and, and very forthcoming and open about that honesty and sticking to your guns is really important. And I think that she does that really well. Or in the videos I've seen, right? And her mukbangs are not, she doesn't have a whole bunch of like, like, like again, she's a small YouTuber and she's not, because there's some YouTubers who have transitioned to, from doing other things so their equipment works in other capacities. She isn't, right? She's not like, she was a beauty channel and now she does mukbang so she has all these lighting things and she has the the lighting rings and the camera and all. No. And there's something to be said about those YouTubers. I mean, we're doing a mukbang from a YouTuber who did beauty and now does a lot of food. She does both. Um, so her equipment, and she has those skills, like she knows how to use both of those, and Denise doesn't have that, but her lighting is generally amazing. I really like her lighting from Jump. Her I've liked lighting her lighting. Is it is. It's important that you can see this pile of bones I have here. You're gonna kill me. What? I'm getting cold. That's okay. I'm, I'm so good at keep eating, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, but I just, I really like that. I think she has a compassionate honesty about her. And she's, again, very kind, open, forthcoming, and I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I think YouTube is transitioning. Everything, everything that you thought wouldn't transition is, like, that there is, dra there is drama in terms of mukbangs. Um, and Isis and I were talking about that. We were like, we don't understand how there are, and we'll talk about this more, how there are people who, they do drama, ch not the ones that make fun of mukbangs, but like they do drama stuff based on mukbangs. Like it's, like it's just that solely deep. it's solely a drama channel based towards mukbangers and trying to get them to have drama within each other. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't work. Especially because even though it's a big community, it's still somewhat small compared to other communities on YouTube. Like it's not I would say as big as a gaming community or a beauty community. You hear that too, right? Yeah. Now it stops. Okay, but <laughs> since it's still somewhat relatively small, relatively small. We think there's a cicada in the house, but keep going. It's, I, I was gonna say, I lost my train of thought. It's still somewhat easy to recognize when there is drama mm -hmm. and to quickly squash it. I'm pretty sure the longest beef that's happened is like a week and that's it. Yeah, some people dragged it out for two weeks, and I wasn't about that life. That's not cute. That's but way. still, that's as long as it goes. Like yeah. in other communities, it could be months long. Mm hmm And that's it. So I like the fact that since it's still small, you can catch the drama real quick in yeah. order to stop it. But for real, people, and a bunch of them know each other. They have each other's numbers. I'm still so confused. How do you make drama about people eating food? Hey yo, you eating too loud? Let me say, we're going to go, I'm going to eventually, because I'm going to do another video for a certain, uh, in homage to a certain mark bucket. And I forgot there was the bone on the floor. I didn't even go for I it. I know, I was looking at it too. I was looking at it this whole time. Oh, speaking of which, here she comes. She's walking around. We may have to end this. <laughs> <laughs> so that she doesn't eat the bone. She smells, she sees it. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm giving you this live. Okay, play. we got to go. <laughs> we are going to go so that we can make sure she doesn't eat this, because it has garlic, onion, things she oh, cannot yeah, have. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> Think she cannot have. She can't have it. And okay. so we are we going gotta to go. Bye, guys. Bye.